Hello, this is Nessie Telson here. This is a video to show how to use the uh, command surface split in Polyboard. Uh, Polyboard enables you to build furniture, design, and manufacture. Uh, it also enables a lot of uh, has a lot of functions which enable you to manipulate the different panels that make up the or different boards that make up the bit of furniture. One of the ways you can manipulate a panel is to actually say that it's not one panel but an assembly of different panels. And we've got some really neat features here for making original designs. Just to give you an, an idea of what we can do, let's have a look at the split uh, the split surface feature. Let's open a new new board, just a new bit of furniture, just to show you how it works. We we'll get rid of the top of this bit of furniture and we get to the bottom and the back and the right side. We're just left with one one board and so that we can just see what we can do with this particular bit of boarding. If we go into the if we select this board in polyboard and we look in structures in the structures property structure of the board we have a command which is called surface split and this is a very interesting command to give decorative effects. You take surface split um, and you open it up polyboard can now say that this particular board is not one board but two boards joined together simply said we can join the boards in the middle but we can also do various various things with uh, these two boards we can say that this particular we can position this particular um, the, as the, the joint of the two boards as we want we can also give it an orientation for instance if we say that it is actually 75 percent from the top from and it also has an orientation of 10 degrees uh, we can also say that there's a distance between it, so we can put 20 millimeter distance. And we can also add other panels. Let's have another panel here that takes up the same, same, same as the first panel. Uh, and what is also possible is we can also say that it's not just a straight line, but it can be any shape, in fact. So we, so we want to do, for instance, a wavy shape. If we look at that, what Polyboard has done now, it's actually taken this wavy shape and made this board up out of three different boards that follow a wavy shape with a certain distance between each board. If we look in the properties of this board now, we have the board is not made up of one panel. If we look here, we've got a surface split. It's made up of one, two, three panels, and each panel can be different. So if, for instance, we say that this panel number two, which is the middle panel here, is not of the same essence, say that it's made in oak, and it's actually a different material. Let's say that um, if we take this surface, the structure of this surface, um, and, we, and we change the whole the whole thing. Let's go back to go back to um, the original. And let's say that this particular structure with a surface split is in fact made up of four panels. Let's say that there's no slack in it. Um, let's say that it is, has got. Um, that we actually got a wavy wavy feature which is at at a, a, a 20 degree slope and I say okay and now we have four panels a wavy feature when we look at the actual 3d representation the four panels are still jointed together so we can't see any particular we can't, can't see the joints but we can take for instance the panel two change put it into oak 19 millimeter oak and say we can take now panel 4 and also put it into 19 millimeter oak and we have this decorative effect which appears as you can see we can actually make up a board of several different types of board and give lots of different decorative effects according to the type of boards we assemble together if you put this through a CNC machine the CNC machine will actually cut out each different separate part which can then be glued together into a single board and make a you know make very easily a very nice decorative effect if we look at the uh, manufacturing features we can say let's say what what sort of you know what files do we get what manufacturing files do we get out of this particular bit of boarding here we have the cuttings lists of each individual section of the board and we also have the actual drawing of each individual section of the board that's marked up ready for machining and the machine files are ready to go straight on your CNC and the boards can be cut out with a CNC machine and you can just glue them all together and off you go and you will actually get you know make yourself some very nice patterns actually this board itself is um, 
just it is made up of th four boards here, but uh, assembled together, it also you know it just works out as exactly one board. You can actually put on each individual board, you can, we can actually put other machining. So we can say, for instance, there is a hole in this particular one. Let's put a hole. Let's put a circle of a hundred mill hundred millimeter diameter, and let's put it here in. And now we have a hole. In. So as you see, we can build up a. Uh, the board and we can machine the board in a very very supple you know it's very very uh, supple way it's very versatile and we can really do some very neat things so I hope this has been interesting to you and I hope you can see you know get a just get a quick view of the possibility the, the decorative design possibilities of this software which is you know really fantastic very very fantastic thanks very much for looking and see you again soon bye